Hi, I'm Joan Cartan Hansen. Welcome to our D4K web only show. And joining me to answer your questions about galaxies is Amber Strawn, a NASA research astrophysicist and the deputy project scientist for the James Webb Telescope Outreach. Let's go to your questions. Hi, my name is Zane, and I go to Lewis and Clark Middle School in Meridian. My question is, how many galaxies are there in the universe? Astronomers don't actually know exactly how many galaxies are there, and that's why we need um, kids like you to go out and become astronomers so we can learn some of the answers to these big questions. Uh, but right now, based on some of the really deep images that Hubble has taken, we think there are something like 100 billion galaxies in our universe. Hi. My name is Henry. I'm from Cynthia Mann Elementary School. Well, my question is, is it true there's a black hole in the middle of our galaxy? Uh, we have pretty good evidence that there probably is a big black hole at the center of our galaxy. So we, um, there's a lot of different ways we can observe that. One of the ways is that we can look at what the stars at the center of our Milky Way are doing. And they seem to be rotating around something that's got to be very, very big. And so we think that that big thing at the center of the galaxy is a big, huge black hole. Hi, my name is Nicola. I go to school at Preston's Elementary, Ar Arlington, Virginia, and my question is, do all galaxies have a sun in the center? That's a good question. So um, galaxies, again, come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, all, all galaxies are made of stars, so that's what galaxies are, are collections of stars. And uh, the sun is, of course, our star in our solar system, the, the star that the Earth orbits around. Um, so the Milky Way has about something like 100 billion stars. Um, some are like our sun, some are bigger, some are smaller. Um, but most big, big galaxies like our Milky Way, uh, we think most big galaxies like that have a black hole, a huge black hole at their center. Hi, my name is Adria. I go to Valley View Elementary School and my question is about how big are galaxies? Galaxies can be all different sizes, all different shapes. There are kind of there are a few main types of galaxies. So the the biggest galaxies in the universe are called elliptical galaxies. So they're big and kind of sphere like shaped like a big ball. And those galaxies can have, you know, a trillion stars in them. So those are the biggest. Um, galaxies like our Milky Way are spiral galaxies, and those galaxies are typically smaller than ellipticals, but they can also be very big. Galaxies like our Milky Way have about 100 billion stars in them. Hi, my name is Sasha, and I go to Maranatha Christian School, and my question is, why doesn't the Halley's Comet ever burn out? So comets are basically bodies of, of um, ice and, and dust and dirt that orbit the sun. And uh, they, they have different orbit times. So they come, swing around the sun, and then go way out into the outer solar system and then swing back around. Uh, when, they, when they swing around, of course, the, what causes them to glow is the sun, and that burns them up. Um, but uh, some comets will eventually uh, burn up and won't come back around. Amber, before we run out of time, why did you decide to become an astrophysicist? Well, I grew up on a farm in Arkansas, and so I was really far away from any city lights, and the skies were beautiful at night. So from a very young age, I was outside at night looking at the stars and starting to ask questions like, where do we come from, and what's out there, and how do we get here, and how, do, how does the universe work? And so I was really interested in astronomy from a very young age. And so when I got into school, I just took all the math and science classes I could and um, went on my way to, to become an astronomer at NASA. And so if someone wants to do this as a living, if someone's out there and thinks that they want to become an astrophysicist, what should they study? Well, you should take all of the math and science classes you can while you're in school. Um, you should definitely plan on going to college because to be an astrophysicist, you'll need a college degree. Um, and I would also recommend um, it, once you get a little bit older, get into high school and college, uh, take as many extra opportunities as you can. Take summer internships, um, work, uh, work at a lab somewhere um, during the summers, those kind of things. And find mentors. Find people that are also excited about what you want to do with your career and with your life that will help you along the way. I'm sorry, but we've run out of time. My thanks to Amber for answering questions. Oh, you're welcome. It's been fun. 
If you want to learn more about galaxies, check out the Galaxies area on the D4K website. You'll find facts, links, games, our Galaxies broadcast show, and lots more. And every week, check out my science blog for the latest science news for kids, all at idahoptv.org. Thanks for joining us for this D4K web only.